Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video you will see what it means to convert your camera into an astro camera. First of all, why I am converting my camera for astro photography and what effect does it have. You will probably see images like this with lots of red light. This light is called infrared light and it can't be seen by the human eye. To see the slide on the camera, the integrated IR cut filter in the camera must be removed. After that, the sensibility in the important H-alpha range increases significantly by the factor 3. If you saw my last video about the modification of my Sony Nex5, I've tried to convert my camera into an ASO camera by myself and I destroyed it. That's why I gave my A7 in professional hands now. You're probably wondering how I can test that kind of effect with modification really has. I am pleased to own two Sony A7, so I can take the same shots and compare them. As you can see, the left camera has been modified. You don't see the IR cut filter anymore. Please don't be afraid for an ASO modification on your camera. After the modification, you can still use the camera for daylight photography. With automatic white balance, the images will appear a little bit reddish. But you can adjust the white balance manually and after that, you can still use the camera again like before. So, let's jump into the image comparison and see what for an effect this modification really has. Back with our side-by-side -side comparison, you see here on the left the ASO modification image with my A7 and on the right side the normal image from my other a7 camera you see like i told before the image now is is uh, very red this is because we have removed the ir cut filter so you see lots of infrared light as i told before you you are able to use the camera still in daylight you have to adjust your white balance manually and then you will get this result to be honest i didn't adjust the white balance perfectly you see the the tones here are a little bit warmer but the rest looks looks identical but the message is you are still able to use the camera in daylight what's important thing is here both images were taken in automatic mode and the shutter speed from my a for my normal a7 has take 1 to 125 but the shutter speed from my modificated a7 has taken 1 to 250 that means you are able to capture much more light than before and this is a good sign because you are now able to catch much more light than before and that is very good for the ASU photography so let's switch to a night photography okay here again I have used the same settings now of course I have used the manual mode to capture the stars I have used my Sony 24mm 1.4 G master lens I have put the ISO on 400 and I have set the aperture of 1.4 and the shutter speed was 10 seconds like before the image out of the camera is very red but I have adjusted the white balance and Lightroom and this is what you will get after the adjustment. What you directly see, the image on the left side with the Astro modificated camera is much more brighter. You see much more details here. Just remember, I've set the same settings on both camera. The image on the normal A7 is much darker and you see it on the first look. But let's go on 100% to the stars here. And this is what, what I mean. You s the stars looks very bright and you see here much more stars than on the not modificated camera. Stars are very round, bright. I didn't try it yet to take very long exposures with star trackers to capture some nebula and other deep sky objects. But this is one thing that I will do in the next weeks so if you join me on my journey here I would be appreciate if you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see the next results but for this test I'm very happy that I have modified my camera the stars looks very good 
and with only 10 seconds exposure you see lots of difference between these two pictures here. If you are interested to know who has modified my camera, you can write me or ask it in the comments. Or if you have any questions, again, please write them in the comments. I will try to answer them all. See you next time.